All right, guys, we're back today with a very impressive high-value weapons light, the PL Turbo from Olight. This is a brand new offering from them and has a lot of nice features built into a small package. We're going to be discussing the specs, features, and performance of this down at the range, and these guys sent these out to the channel in two sample sets and both color variations for me to try for the release of this product and the sale. If you decide to like this at the end of the video, you can head to the link in the description, click that, and check out all of the deals on these lights as well as more detailed information that I may have left out. Also, you can bundle these with other lights, and if you're watching this and it's not on sale, you can use the code 704TACTICAL for 10% off on any non-sale items. Also, these are affiliate links, so if you decide to purchase this, you can head down there, click that. It helps out the channel at no extra cost to you, just brings you right to the sale. With that being said, let's dig into the light itself. Now, the cool thing about this light is they've really perfected the PL series of lights over the years. It's not a completely new offering. The housing is very similar to previous generations, and the mode of operation and attachment system is also very similar to ones in the past. Now, what they've done on a lot of the attachment methods is went from a quick release mount to this more of a rotating locking mount, and I personally like this more. I've never needed to quickly detach a light and attach it to another light. I can always take the extra time to use the screwdriver or different attachment methods like Allen keys. And it's much more simple um, to do than you would think. And the quick detach is kind of overrated in my opinion, but it's nice that they do have it and it locks up solid. With this feature, it does lock up rock solid with no shifts or jostling, and it stays on there, no issues whatsoever. I really liked having two samples and I tried it in both the 9mm and 22 and I don't put much stock in 22 tests because the recoil is minimum but it did give me a chance to try both lights down at the range and kind of pair and contrast and both worked great. I did not have any issues with flickering on or off when I was shooting and I like to shoot these in slow-mo so if you look at the intro and say why is this guy shooting in the day in slow-mo it's to see if the light is actually flickering on or off when the gun is under recoil and this light did not do that and you'd be surprised some actually do and that's not necessarily a complete deal breaker but it's definitely indication that something is going on but this one worked perfectly with no issues whatsoever the next thing we did was put it on the tx22 and take it down to the range at night and really see its potential and that's where i want to start talking about the actual specs and features of this light itself so it's got a lumen output of 800 lumens but what it does have is that really long 515 meter throw a lot of guys ask for that candela setting or that candela intensity and that's going to be 66,000. 300. Now for me, I really don't quite understand a ton about the Candela settings, but a lot of guys really rely on that. So you'll definitely want to check it out. I more look at the throw of the light, the spread of the light on target, whether it's a spot or a flood, and then the lumen output. So those are the three settings that I'm very familiar with, and that's what I judge by. So let's talk about those in particular. The first 800 lumens. 800 lumens is plenty bright for the house, around your car, or even in a field. That's plenty bright. The throw, 515 meter throw, that is insane to me for a handgun weapons light. So when I first read this, I was like, well, it's probably going to be completely unusable because the beam is going to be so tight inside your house. That was a major concern of mine about this light. The very first thing I did was grab it and shine it down a dark hall. And thankfully, these guys knew exactly what they were doing. It does have a center spot that throws the beam for a distance, but it definitely floods very quickly. I don't know if it's going to be able to pick up. Actually, it does perfectly on this table. This is a very small representation of this center spot. Now, this is what you're going to get thrown. It even feels a little bit warm on my hands from like two feet away. This center spot is what's going to be thrown for that maximum distance of 515 meters. But this wash or this flood is perfect for home defense. That allows you to light up an entire room and keep the center spot on target. And now, although this is probably not proper training or techniques, but that center spot can really identify your target and 
wash around the target to kind of see the surrounding area and you can kind of judge ballpark like three to five yards in where your rounds are going to be going inside that center spot again not really proper shooting techniques i i would get more comfortable with my sights night sights for personal defense situations get very comfortable with just getting a good grip aligning and repetitive actions against your target but having that spot in the center and flood is perfect for almost every situation i've utilized this light in i've tried other turbo lights in the past and sometimes it does get to tunnel vision with that center spot so i'm really glad that what these guys have done is combine that spot with that floodlight and it's nice to have two examples so i can show you guys the consistency this is really only about a foot and a half away you can see it pull up that spot gets really uh center still was a very uh, spotlight feel, but then you have this floodlight that's overtaking dramatically, so it's great inside your house. So it works out incredibly well down at the range. Now, this one is going to be using a system that allows it to have a track system built into the light, meaning it can be adjusted for a few different scenarios, and I'm gonna show you that really quickly. Because of YouTube's policies, I'm not gonna show you guys putting it on and off the Glock. But what you can do is loosen up this knob and now you can actually adjust the track system in the light itself, which is pretty slick, into three different positions, allowing it to be incredibly versatile. The other cool thing about this life and something or light, and I want to address right away, is the fact that it does ship with the O light batteries, but this is completely compatible with aftermarket CR123A batteries. There was a light in the past where one reviewer did a test for lumens and noticed that some aftermarket batteries had um, definitely uh, different results in the light itself, which is something that you need to know if you're gonna be swapping out batteries. But this one is completely compatible and should be working with every single thing you put in there for the desired output and lumen setting. But you definitely wanna take a look at some of those other reviewers. There's flashlight reviewers out there who test like lumen output and everything with different meters. For me, I'm just going to take these down at the range and utilize them and kind of tell you guys my feedback. So that is something to consider. But this one I noticed too, running these standard uh, Olight batteries out of them worked great down at the range. I think I was down at the range for about 45 minutes using both of these on and off. And I didn't see any significant drops um, with the light. You know, they're still just as bright when I took them out the other night just to scan the yard without shooting, just to see how they're holding up to see the battery life i haven't seen battery drain as they've been sitting there and using them so i mean i think it's going to be perfect i actually like having those um rechargeable batteries but i also like having the batteries that you have to swap out so olight makes some with the recharging base which i really like but they also make these where you just insert the batteries in the back and both have their positives and negatives so every little bit of that is something to consider now overall I love this light, especially for the price. The MSRP is $89. Again, at the time of filming this video, we are doing, um, or they are doing a flash sale. But if you're catching this after the flash sale, they're worth every penny, I personally believe anyways, for that price. The other cool thing about these is I've been utilizing a lot of the works holsters. A lot of guys are asking about works holster compatibility, and these are compatible with a ton of different works holsters. And I don't know if I have a code for them or not, but you can always try 704 Tactical. I've been working with them for a while now on different holster things, and they actually recently sent some not too long ago, and that's what I was utilizing at the intro part of the video. I can't remember if I added that in or not, um, but the works holsters work great with the Olight. So that's another thing. Olight is getting that um, recognition and trans. Um, uh, there's so many transactions with the Olight that a lot of companies are now offering holster options for the Olight. In summary, it's a solid light. It works. I've had no issues with it. It's just really affordable for what you get. I was super concerned with it was going to be too much of a spotlight for the turbo, but honestly, it works out great for almost every application. I could even see mounting this or the side of like an AR pick rail, something like that. So a lot of versatility with this light. Again, all of the information, linking and codes if the sale is over will be in the description below. And again, that is an affiliate link. So it helps out the channel if you use that code at no extra cost to you, just brings you right to the deals. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.